Hey guys, welcome back. The uh, 12th of October. Um, up here checking my card one more time, and it might be three or four weeks before we get back to them again. Um, this has been a two week soak, uh, freshly re scented. You know, I covered them up real good with urine two weeks ago when I was out. Uh, saw a little bear this morning back behind me here and uh, he was just he really should have had a mom with him still he was pretty small so I'm gonna say we didn't do nothing with that but uh, kind of got some cool stuff happening um, hopefully early this upcoming week I'll be putting steel in the ground um, one of the properties that I like to hit this time of the year Right now it's currently got a grizz and two cubs on it. Um, so we're going to stay out of there for a bit. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember the property last year where we caught, um, I don't remember how many muskrat, bunches and bunches of muskrats out there. The, the Jockett property is what I was calling it. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a mom and some babies out there right now. So we're just going to stay out of there and, and they won't be there long. Um, I'd give them a week or two. Um, let's see, what else is going on? Oh, so now that I've got my own official logos, um, copyrighted stuff and all that, um, I'm going to go ahead and, and get some uh, apparel out there. Just I don't know that I'm going to sell any of it. Um, I was going to make just enough for you know my direct family. But it turns out when you're dealing with those people, you know, there's certain numbers that you got to order. You, you can't just order like 8 or 15 or whatever. Um, I mean, you can, but it gets really expensive when you do it that way. So I'm going to order just, I'll probably just do some hoodies and maybe some beanies or something since we're coming into the cold time of the year. Um, and I guess, I mean, if you guys want them, we can, we can figure out how to do that. Um, I just, I don't know enough about it really to... To, you know get into the specifics um, I do know that the hoodies are gonna look pretty badass um, they're gonna have one of my logos on the chest and then the big logo that you guys have been seeing on the channel um, that scene logo uh, with the guy with the the catch pole um, that's gonna be on the back so that'll be pretty pretty cool I'm pretty excited for those um, I, as you probably have noticed every video you've probably ever seen me in um, I'm in a hoodie I, I wear hoodies in the winter I wear them in the summer spring fall it don't matter I wear hoodies uh, and that's just how it is so I'm excited to get some that got my own stuff on it that'd be cool um, but anyway we're going to uh, I'm going to do something pretty cool this you know it'll probably end up being towards the end of trapping season it just depends on how how I can manage my time. Um, I currently have some fur at uh, Moil and Mink um, over there in Idaho. I'm waiting to get that back. But uh, I think we're going to do some giveaways this year and stuff. Um, I wasn't really paying much attention, but my my uh, subscriber count's coming up pretty good. I mean, I, I think it's pretty good for just a nobody that lives out in the middle of the sticks in northwest Montana. But uh, we're over 600 now, and um, I'm thinking if we can hit a thousand by the end of the season, I'm going to do some giveaways because of that. But I'm also going to give, um, I'm going to do some giveaways, some fur giveaways this year too. Maybe we'll do a little competition or, I don't know, I haven't figured it out yet. But uh, I'm also getting into, so we're going to hold a big spring rendezvous up here in Montana for uh, fur harvesters. Um, and I don't know if anybody follows him, um, Arkansas Trapper on YouTube. He did a really cool thing uh, a few months ago. Maybe it was a month ago. He posted a video where they're making, uh, they're 3D printing traps for kids. And they're fully functional. Um, pretty pretty neat deal. So anyway, I kind of, that kind of caught my attention a little bit. So I got, um, I went ahead and ordered. I got a printer coming and stuff like that um, i'm going to start doing that i think that's just stuff that i'm going to give away to the to the youth trappers and and you know when we have these rendezvous or our you know because fur harvesters we do all sorts of events all year long um, 
I think it'd just be cool to to, to give to the kids and, and they can mess around with them in the house. I mean, like I said, they're fully functioning double springs. Um, you know, they, they, they fire, they set the whole nine yards. They don't fire hard enough to hurt you, but it's something, something cool for the kids. So we are getting into that a little bit here in the 406. Um, but yeah, other than that, guys, just kind of a quick update. Um, I'm hoping, like I said, hoping to put steel in the ground this coming week. If I do, I'll bring you guys along with that. And, um, yeah, I got a few more cameras to check today. I'm going to head back down to the house and uh, start going through all the footage. Hopefully get this YouTube video out tonight. And then, um, yeah, we'll go from there. See what, see what goes on. Our, our rifle season, general season for deer and elk opens in two weekends. Not this upcoming weekend, but the following. Um. So we gotta we gotta get some stuff done. Still need to, to get a deer in the freezer. I don't have to. Uh, the elk's definitely helping with that, but uh, I will just because why not? And um, yeah, other than that, let's get into this footage and uh, and see what we found or or what found us. I should say. We'll see you guys soon.